you need to change the culture in the sense that people in power know that you are in these positions to serve people and not to not to do all these funny things. 不少人可能会认为政治与贪腐脱离不了关系。乌统宣传主任沙里尔就点出了目前的政客文化，而且身为年轻政治人物，手中掌握改变的力量。The culture that I hope young politicians, um, we are not perfect, but I think we need, if we are given the opportunity, if someone like me, for example, given the opportunity to be an MP or to have any position of of influence, that I can. Um, I and other friends of mine who are also my generation can lead by example, resist any temptation to go down that slippery slope.、Uh, this is something that is、um, that will be a test of our character. So that's on our in the individual. And if certain, if we can have as a generational change in terms of how we speak about this and how we act, and we don't go down to kawasan or meet people in big cars and. We don't own flashy watches that we cannot justify. You know, I think that will help because the culture is. You need to change the culture in the sense that people in power know that you are in these positions to serve people and not to, not to do all these funny things. The third thing I want to suggest, and this is the grand, difficult thing to do. What is the reason? Politics sometimes. Is related to corruption. One of the reasons, apart from individual integrity, character, is because there is still a expectation and expectation for politicians to have money to spend their money. If you are a YB, you will be more powerful and more popular in that area if you are able to spend beyond whatever peruntukan you get from from government. Then is where there might be temptations, right? This is reality. Let's talk reality. That's where there might be temptations because you might think, I need to get the money. How am I going to be a successful politician if I don't? I'm not able to fundraise. I'm not able. Once you do fundraising, then hopefully the fundraising can be clean. But fundraising can also not be clean because there might be certain expectations, right? Then you really start to understand where this goes. I hope the public understands. This is not to excuse corruption at all. I'm not at all excusing corruption. But I'm saying, in terms of the structure, what needs to change? Can we get to a point where the people's welfare can be adequately、um, served by government agencies? So, for example, if somebody's house, the roof, the chabot because of hujan, ribut, and all that, do we get to a point where? The job of the politician is to tell the agency, "I want you to go and solve that problem in that kampung, in that house." But it's not the YB who spend five thousand ringgit or whatever to, to do this. How, how to make that happen? Welfare department has to be adequately funded. We need to make sure that JKM, for example, has as much money as possible so that they can serve these needs. So you no longer have a situation where. Uh, the local politician or politicians become so powerful because they can help and give. In my mind, that is my aspiration. Can we, can Malaysia get to a point where, just like other advanced countries, politicians don't spend out of pocket, so politicians have no excuse to get money? I mean, the moment you do a big transformation, yeah, you can still fundraise, but at least you know that money goes to what? It goes to marketing. It goes to this. Goes to that. It's not that. Goes into the politician's pocket. It should not go in the politician's pocket. So that's the that's the aim. That's the aim. How we get there? It requires all parties and all. I think, especially young people who are not who are new to this. I'm relatively new, and I have had no. I'm not a YB, so I don't have the same kind of pressure, right?、Um, and I hope、um, my generation can lead that change.